All right, so today we are searching for uh, Ryan Taylor. I'm about to dive down on a vehicle that we found 30 foot down. Assess the windows first off, make sure if that, all the windows are up or down. I'm gonna go to the back of the car, uh, try to see if I can pull off a license plate, come up and resurface and be able to tell Jacob and Lindsay if this is the car we're looking for. This is a part of our 40 day road trip with Chaos Divers. I wanna say thank you to Jacob. You know, learn sonar and everything like that, but we're gonna get in the water and hopefully bring some answers to this family. All sorts of law enforcement out here. We've got the news. Our Rosalind Freeman was on scene and talked with the divers as they worked to bring up answers for the family and investigators. Rosalind. It's been two years since the disappearance of James Ryan Taylor, and his family is still looking for an answer in this now ongoing murder investigation. They're hoping that the Tom Bigby River will give them some of those secrets. Ryan Taylor went missing on July 15, 2020. The Lowndes County Sheriff arrested Joseph Lane Parcell, Alan Michael Farley, and Deborah Johnston in connection to Taylor's disappearance. Now Chaos Divers out of Illinois is searching for clues to find critical evidence. Taylor's remains. The school could potentially have someone in there. Um, so when we're searching for uh, Ryan, we're uh, uh, searching every vehicle, making sure that we clear everything that we can for this family. They're out here as well. Jacob's over there kind of formulating a game plan right now for how they're going to pull out the car and get the rotator out here. It's definitely going to be a crazy scene. So right now we're going out to mark the vehicle. Jacob's on the inside. Fly fast. So right now we're about to mark the car. As you can see, I've got Jacob and Lindsay in the boat behind me. We've marked the car, we dove it yesterday, got the license plate off. There's a flat about 12 feet, then it drops off 15 feet into 30. And it does not, a, it's not a gradual, it's a drop, it's like a ledge. So for him to pull, I'm afraid it's going to, hit that wall and it's not going to be able to get it up over that ledge. Right now we're going to be marking it and then Jacob's going to be diving down and rigging up everything and it's going to be a crazy scene. How's it going Jacob? Oh I'm doing all right. This water's cold. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. It's directly in front of us, Lindsay. Uh, it'll be on my left. Go ahead and throw it out towards us. Towards the front? Yep. Jacob just went under the water and uh, current's a lot worse today than it was yesterday. So hoping that he's gonna be okay. He's not put to a car. And that's what he used to go down. He's coming up the anchor line. All right guys, so we got the, uh, the messenger line attached to the car due to the fact that we kind of left that out. We've got the messenger line on there, the hooks are already down there. Um, tow line right now with a cable and a rope. We're gonna attach it to the messenger line. Get this, get this car removed. It'll be a task right here. I don't know how this is gonna work. I mean, you guys can tell it's dangerous conditions out here. Uh, he's gonna try to hook up to the front of the car in hopes that 
when we pull, the car actually will flip this way up against that ledge and then come up. See his bubbles there? He's not as cold today, so his bubbles are a lot smaller. Yeah. truck over here. That's a genius idea. So the line just broke. So we got this rotator going a line down here as you can see Jacob's about to get into the water again and hook up the line one last time this has been a day of complete disaster the line for the tow truck actually just broke this has been just a chaotic event all day. We've been here since 9.30 trying to get this car out of the water. It's really hard to get it over that 15 foot ledge. You can see the scene is getting into night. We've got a lot of people out here waiting for uh, another rotator that's coming. Hopefully it'll be here soon. We just brought in one of the big lights they're gonna use for uh, the recovery. We're going into the night now. Rolling through that one cable, so that's good. It's not twisting as bad. It's a Volkswagen. Oh, let me move out of his way. It's black or dark blue.
right, everybody. So that is going to wrap it up for another video of Depths of History. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to press that like button and be sure to subscribe to both me and Chaos Divers. Jacob from Chaos Divers did a lot today, including diving on that vehicle and was able to rig up the vehicle and actually get it out of the water today. If you'd like to check out his channel, I will have it linked in the description below. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.